Hi, my name is Sherry Yannick. I'm Churchill School Librarian, and today I'm reading to you Glass Slipper Gold Sandal, a Worldwide Cinderella. This is by Paul Fleischman, and it's illustrated by Julie Patchkiss. I love this book because anybody who has ever read the same fairy tale by different authors notices there are certain details that are a little bit different. So what this book does is it looks at Cinderella on a very bigger scale combining all the different stories to make one story. You'll notice on each page, it will say which, or, or each section depending, it will say which country the part of Cinderella is from. I'm gonna to read to you an author's note to give you a little bit more of a hint. Um, and you can kind of see some of the areas where the different Cinderella stories are from. And I think you'll notice the artwork is especially beautiful. Glass slipper, golden sandal. So the author says, a chameleon changes color to match its surroundings. Stories do the same. The earliest recorded Cinderella tale is thought to date from the 9th century China. Traveling across the globe, it changed its clothes, but not its essence. Rivalry, injustice, and dreams of wrongs righted are universal, no matter our garments. When the story reached France, it acquired the glass slippers and coachmen mice familiar to Western readers. More than a thousand other versions are known. I pictured a book that would let us listen in on the tale tellers we don't often hear, who've breathed this story to life around fires of peat and pinion pine, swinging in hammocks and snuggling under deer skins. So let's dive in. And I'm going to point out um, when she labels, um, oh, sorry, when he, when um, the author and the illustrator, when they label each page where um, the the tale is from. So you'll kind of see a real interesting essence of, of all these compilations of Cinderella to make this one really fantastic version of Cinderella. Once upon a time, there lived a wealthy merchant whose wife had died. They had one daughter, gentle-eyed and good-hearted. And this page is from Mexico, so you see over there. And I absolutely love the design, the illustrations. You can see they're so vibrant and they change according to the country or the culture that they're representing, trying to like kind of embody some of that. So I think you'll like the colors and the illustrations in this book. So from Mexico, down the road lived a widow with two daughters. The woman gave the girl treats when she passed, pan dulce to eat, sugar cane to chew. The girl knew that her father was lonely. You should marry the widow, she told him. She's nice to me. The father had his doubts, but the girl kept asking. And how long can a father say no to his daughter? And so he and the widow were married. But no sooner than, and this one's from Korea, on this page. But no sooner than the stepmother had moved in, than she began to order the girl about. All day long, she set her weed to weeding the rice fields and cooking and carrying. The woman gave the girl's room to her own lazy daughters. At night, the girl had nowhere else to sleep but curled for warmth among the ashes on the hearth. So sometimes they call the ashes cinders, so that's where the name Cinderella comes from. This page is from Iraq. I think this is the artwork. It's really beautiful here. Her stepmother only allowed her a few scraps of food. Her stomach howled. Then the girl recalled how she begged her father to marry. I picked up the scorpion with my own hand, she told herself. She vowed not to complain to her father and upset him. So from Russia. But when the girl was out tending the cattle, the beasts heard her crying for hunger. Don't weep, said one of the cows, and the animal poured honey for her from its horn. And from Iran. And a fairy gave her figs and apricots. And from India. And Godfather Snake gave her rice. So we're in Ireland now on this page. Once she was eating well and proper, the girl bloomed into a right rare beauty. The stepmother couldn't fathom it. And meanwhile, her own sour-faced daughters would curdle the milk if they looked at it twice. Okay, this page is beautiful. This is Zimbabwe right here. One day, it was announced far and wide that the great king was in search of a queen. All the unmarried women dressed in their finest robes and set off for the palace. So from Germany, to make sure the girl couldn't go, the stepmother threw an apron full of lentils into the ashes and ordered her to pick them all out. So aprons, uh, sorry, lentils are super tiny, 
And if she threw an apron full into the, the ashes, that would be incredibly difficult to sort. Probably take a long time. And from Appalachia. And scour all the kitchen pots too, she hollered. And from Germany. As soon as the stepmother left with her daughters, the girl burst into tears. Outside, the sparrows heard her, and in they flew and pecked the lentils from the ashes. From Appalachia. Then a witch woman came in and spoke a spell, and ju up jumped the pots and scoured themselves. So from Laos. The girl was free to go, but she had nothing to wear except rags. Then she looked in her mother's sewing basket. From Russia. Then she reached in the hole in the birch tree. And from Indonesia. Then a crocodile swam up to the surface, and in its mouth was a sarong made of gold. From China. A cloak sewn of kingfisher feathers. Japan. A kimono red as sunset. I love all the different artwork representing all the different places. It's really beautiful. From France, right here. This is France where we hear this. And on the girl's feet appeared a, play, a pair of gold slippers. India, diamond anklets. A rock, sandals of gold. From the West Indies. Walk to the ball, said the girl's auntie. Never. She picked a big round breadfruit from the tree and tapped it three times with a wand. Quick as the blink of a firefly, that breadfruit changed itself into a coach. So you may have heard a pumpkin as well, right? And from Poland. When she made her entrance, so great was her beauty that the musicians stopped playing. No one, not even her stepmother, knew who the beautiful stranger was. from Indonesia. All night the girl danced with the headman's son until the first rooster crowed. Then she remembered she had to leave at once. Back in Ireland. She leaped onto her mare's golden saddle. Who are you? called the prince. The girl had no time for words and charged down the lane. The prince sprinted beside her, got a hand on her shoe, and the dainty thing pulled off in his fingers as she galloped away. The king declared he would marry the golden shoe's owner. He ordered women of the court to try it on, but none could squeeze inside it. And so he went searching for its owner up and down the mountains. This page is from China. From Iran and across the deserts and back in Laos. Until he came to the stepmother's house. When she saw him approach, she grabbed her stepdaughter, wrapped her in a mat, and hid her. Horrifying. I'm certain the shoe will fit one of my fine favored girls, said the woman. And this is in France. Grunting and sweating, her older daughter tried to wrestle the shoe on, but couldn't, neither could the younger. I think we've all heard this part, right? Similar to this. And in a rock again. Just then a rooster began to crow. They put the ugly one on show and hid the beauty down below. In Korea, the girl was brought forward. Don't waste your time with that one, said the stepmother. But the magistrate looked into the girl's eyes, took the straw sandal in his hand, and slipped it on her foot with ease. Okay. And Zimbabwe, she and the great king were married at the palace where the guests feasted on mangoes and melons. India, rice seasoned with almonds. Ireland, beef stew and mom stew. Mexico, honest cookies and custards. Iraq, such a wedding it was and such an adoring couple in Korea and such a wondrous turn of events that people today are still telling the story. So again, this is glass slipper gold sandal. I love this version. I love to know what parts you liked best and what was the surprise to you. I think there's a lot of fun things in this book. Um, I love all the different um, cultures coming together and I have to say the artwork is just gorgeous. Thank you so much for listening. Keep on reading.